Hey, this is Nick. Uh, we've got Kate again with Vin Solutions, and in this video, uh, she's going to help us look at a couple list uh, reports that you guys should be taking a look at, if not weekly, uh, maybe even daily, uh, to give you insights on where the opportunities are within the dealership, the activity breakdown report, and the ROI report, which is one of my favorites. So, Kate, thanks again uh, for walking through this. Sure. Okay, guys, so where we'll go is uh, over the reporting section. So once you click on reports, it'll expand to all the different reports that we can get into. And the two reports that we're looking at today are under CRM. So once you click on CRM, it'll expand. Uh, when you scroll down here, it'll look at the first uh, report, which is called Activity Breakdown. It will be about halfway down. And so here we are under the Activity Details reporting, and Activity Breakdown is right here in the middle. So when you click on that, what this report is showing you is it's a breakdown of all the sales reps and managers, both if you like, um, within a store and really what they've done for a certain time period. So their whole road to the sale will be here. So let's go ahead and narrow in on a specific group because you can do that up here at the top. So if you're just focused in on maybe your BDC um, or just the sales team, you can narrow in on these teams just with a click of a button. So when I click on the Ford team, uh, let's say you want to see the past month of activity. So we'll go to March 15th to today. Once you hit view, it'll pull up the group total. So we have quite a few information here um, as a group of how they've performed with internet leads. Um, I'm sorry, total leads, internet show, uh, phone ups. So looking um, down below here, this is where it breaks it up into each individual sales rep. So this is a good place to do um, a, like a three-month review uh, to see how many customers they're bringing into the store and how far they're actually getting in any of these deals. Now, when you dig even deeper in these, if you want to see any of these customers or any of this information, anything is that's lit up in blue, you can drill into. So if you want to see these 35, 35 demos by Gene for the month, you can click on it and it'll show up on the left-hand side. So we know that he's demoed 35 customers. He's actually sold 37.5. So some discrepancies there. Uh, but it's a good way to drill in and, and see customers' information from here just with a click of a button. So that's the first report. Uh, the second report that we have is the return on investment report. So going back to the reporting section, again, it's under CRM. You just click on that. And when we scroll down, under lead source, you'll see uh, lead source ROI. We actually have several different views um, of our return on investment reports. I'll go ahead and take you into our classic view. So when you get into classic, uh, you can again narrow in by a specific team, if you like, up here at the top. Uh, right now, we're, we're in everyone in the store uh, but you can narrow down by that or by lead source if you like. Uh, down here at the bottom, this is every single lead source that we're looking at for the store, uh, breaking down by a total lead that you're getting from each individual lead source out of those which are good or bad. Now, this is an important report because if you're paying per lead, you'll obviously want to pull up a, um, a bad lead report, which we also have. Uh, sold, appointments. We also pull in the percentages for you. Total shown, uh, shown percentage, total front growth, and uh, back as well. Average, total cost, cost per lead, and then the total profit. Now, when you're seeing this total profit list, if you see anything lit up in red, you know what that means. That means it's obviously in a negative position for those lead sources. Got it. That's great information. And you can export this, you know, to an Excel spreadsheet or something like that or a CSV file, right? You can up here on the top right-hand side. Yeah, that's awesome. Very good. Well, awesome. This is really good. I appreciate you kind of showing us a couple of the top-level uh, reports that we should be taking a look at. Again, very, very valuable information that we need to be looking at on a daily basis. So thanks again, Kate.